It's becoming a doe. <laughs>Hi, I'm Christian. I'm Alicia. And welcome to Eat the Pizza. And today we are making a barbecue deep dish pot pie pizza. We're gonna make it delicious and bright. So I thought it would be appropriate since this is a barbecue flavored pizza to do a cornmeal crust. I know, say what? Say what? It's a great idea. We've got some warm water and then I'm adding in this instant Rapid rise. yeast. Whisk it up, whisk it up. And Christian is gonna add the honey. Don't mind if I do. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. So we've got flour yep. and cornmeal. Make sure you're counting. I think this is blooming, so let's add this oil. You wanna mix? All right, oh, smell it. it. Smells yeasty. It smells olive oily. Yeah, it smells like olive oil and yeast. Sticky but not gooey. It's becoming a dough. <laughs> I am adding some olive oil to this bowl. That is such a good idea. How in the heck did you come up with that? Uh, the recipe told me to do it. What? That's a pretty good idea to get it covered get, completely. Yeah, and then I don't have to get all dirty. Whoa, that's. No, no, no. Don't put it directly in. You're making it into a ball. Oh. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> Look, it's sti it's um, sticky but not gooey. It's sticky but not gooey, it is. Put it in the bowl. Yep, you heard. Turn the oven off and then put this oven safe bowl. Make sure your bowl's oven safe. So we're covering this. So it's tightly wrapped. It's tightly wrapped. And now we have to put it in the oven and let it rise for only 30 minutes. It should be doubled in size. Let's do it. Let's do it. So pretty much when I was concepting this, I thought let's take all of the great barbecue flavors and sides and layer them into a deep dish pizza. And I say that's brilliant. So what's one of your favorite barbecue sides? No, what does oh. it go in? Beans, baby. Beans, and not just beans, baked beans with bacon. Bacon and um, Think about how good baked beans are. Everybody just take a moment. And you're right, you came to the right conclusion. Baked beans are great. We're also gonna make macaroni and cheese, which is my favorite side dish at barbecue. To make life easier, we're gonna use these Barilla Pronto uh, noodles. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. What an interesting way to cut this. Don't need that from you right now. <laughs> I would have done it, but it's fine. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to boil water or drain it. You just add your pasta, add your water, and then turn on the heat. And then we just let it go for 10 minutes and it's gonna absorb all that water. Cool. Make sure you get um, a shot of the smell too. All right, I'm opening the delicious Gouda cheese. And I'm opening sharp white cheddar. Ooh, I'm a fan of sharp I white know, cheddar. I know, I picked say. your favorite. And I think that there's no such thing as too much cheese in a mac and cheese, so just grate it all up. I need to break this in half. Think I can do it? <laughs> Ooh, the water has all been evaporated or absorbed. Kind of both, I guess. Kind of both, I guess. Well, whatever, it's now just nudes and no water, no draining required. Pronto. Okay, so now we're gonna make mac and cheese. Now it's time to melt the butter. Du beurre. It's butter in French. What up? Uh, we're gonna add the flour to make a roux. Boo! Careful whisk not it. to dump that flour whisk in there it, too aggressively. It. All right, we're gonna add the milk. Add the milk. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna get the chicken going in the slow cooker. Okay. I've got some garlic paste, yellow onion. Okay, salt. I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Oops. Yeah, I, I wanted to not have any bones in this pizza. Some pepper, some paprika actually quite a bit. And this is our favorite lower sugar barbecue sauce. Not also, sponsored. Also not sponsored, but if you want to. Let's just be up? clear, Eat the Pizza has at this point in time never had any sponsors, <laughs> so. 
So I'm just giving this a mix. I put the lid on and now we just have to let it cook for mm, five to seven hours. Okay. Has it doubled in size? <gasps> yes, it has. That's no movie magic. That's just yeast. Woo! Ooh, it's flopped. I was a uh, sports I was a big high school girl. Christian's thickening the roux and I'm going to shred the chicken. Baby. Now I can transfer it all back into the sauce. All that flavor flav. So we got canned beans and our cooked bacon. And we're just gonna stir Make it together. Don't forget your dogs. What do you think I'm doing? There's just no reason to cut onion without wearing goggles. All right, we're gonna add in the cheese. So we've got some white cheddar, and then I'm adding some Gouda cheese. Gouda idea. And then I'm gonna add in some sharp cheddar. All right, ready? Load it up. Uh, we're gonna roll this out. Now it's very sticky. Remember how I specifically said, I know that you're not supposed to roll it out, but I just prefer to do it this way. And someone totally still attacked and was like, Yeah, of course. You're not supposed to do it that way. Guess what? I like rolling it with the pin, and that's what I'm gonna do. And you can make yours however you want. I want this to be really sprayed. Oh. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna layer in some barbecue chicken. Just gonna sprinkle this in. And then what do you think, mac and cheese next? Yep. Yeah, you could go light on the green beans, I mean. But it's just a classic yeah, just barbecue. Yeah, just go pretty light on it. Plus then we get some veggies in. Uh, corn. All right, and then we just gotta make the dough for the top. I'm gonna sprinkle on some of this leftover white cheddar. All right, we gotta put some slices on the top so it doesn't explode. <laughs> this is so obnoxious. I know. Umba, 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 umba. Sha -la -la -la. Congratulations, congratulations, well done, well done. And now it's time for the pizza fact of the day. What do we got? Pizza fact of the day is related to a deep dish pizza. So we did not obviously make a traditional Chicago style deep dish nope. pizza today, but uh, the origin of it is pretty cool. So there are two business partners in the 1940s who wanted to start a business together, or they wanted to start a restaurant together. First choice was Mexican, it failed. Didn't uh, work. Backup was... Italian, because one of them was Italian. Well, the backup was pizza, because one of pizza, them was Italian. One of them was Italian. And so they wanted to create a pizza that was unique to Chicago, that was different, but is American, an American take on pizza. And so they started baking pizza in this really deep dish and gave it this really cakey, thick crust uh, and filled it with sausage and cheese in the middle and sauce on top, almost like an upside down pizza. Uh, it had to be eaten with a fork and knife and thus was born the deep dish pizza. And then in the 1950s, they renamed themselves to Pizzeria Uno. Pizzeria Uno, who knew? And that's where the chain got its name, everyone. Pretty cool. So I think we may have made a mistake. So this is a springform pan. pan where you have to pop the uh, surrounding piece off, but we crimped the edge of the crust around. Whoops! Whoops! I mean, we don't even know if it's gonna stay together. This would be a miracle if it actually worked. It truly would be, and I gotta say, let's just do it. 
Oh, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous. Here okay. we go. Here we go. I hope it doesn't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. Please don't fall apart. Barbecue stuffed deep dish pot pie pizza coming up. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Done, done. Oh my oh god! My god. Oh, look at that Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my Just god! Just like I said. Oh my god! Oh I knew my god! It was gonna work easily. Oh my god! This is so scary. Look at that barbecue sauce oozing out. Go. go all the way in. <gasps> oh! And now it's time to eat the pizza. Let's do it, go ahead. Okay. That very good. I got a green bean and I liked it. The green bean's good when it's mixed with all this other stuff. I love the cornmeal crust. I know, the crust is really what's mm -hmm. making it. The crust and then, honestly, the mac and cheese mixed with the barbecue meat. Yeah, and I'm glad that the mac and cheese was kind of extra gooey cheesy rather than like dry. I love the beans too though. The beans are awesome. The beans, the bacon, the corn. It's killing it. Oh, so many good flavors. I can't believe it worked. It really did, and it's delicious. It's amazing, and you should totally make it. The recipe is on eatthepizzashow.com. Our blog is there for this episode and every episode. Along with some good merch. Along with the merch. And uh, all of our social can be found there as well, at Eat the Pizza Show. Right down here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next week on Eat the Pizza. Eat the crazy stuffed pizza. Eat the pizza pot pie, the barbecue, mm. the pizza barbie, uh, chicken pizza barbecue pot pie. You definitely need a fork for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wouldn't be one that you could pick up with your hands. Mm -hmm. mm.